Hi, I'm David Van Beesbrook from Opal Rific Reads, and today we're gonna scrape a reed. Fantastic, I love it. So this reed uh, is a blank. It was part of my 100 blanks in a day challenge. Overall, it looks pretty good. You can see that the tip opening is, it's not way too open when it's soaked. Overall, it looks pretty symmetrical. The uh, blades are overlapped correctly. A very nice, soft cane. The suction on this reed is really nice. You know you have a good blank when it hugs the plaque, and it certainly does this time. Those blades want to be together. Looking down the bottom of the tube, it's tied on really, really nice. Perfectly in line with the oval. It's a nice blank. First thing I'm gonna do with this blank is measure the windows, see if we're about 40 hundredths of a millimeter on the dial indicator, and see if we need to scrape down a little bit more before we start our tip. So what do we got here? 40. Okay, we're about 43 on the tide side. So what I wanna do right now is bring everything down to about 40. I'm trying to cover a lot of surface area here. You see I'm scraping a lot off. Awesome. What I wanna do is to put a mark on the cane where I'm gonna start my tip. At this point, I'm just going to put my reed back in the water. I just wanna make sure that I'm keeping the cane hydrated at every single point while I'm doing this. I don't like using a pencil to mark where I wanna start my tip. I find that the pencil line is smudged away way too easily. So I'm just gonna take an X-Acto knife and lightly scratch the surface of the cane at 66 millimeters, in case you didn't get a chance to see it. So I'm literally just finding 66, and I'm scratching the cane. And then I'm gonna put the plaque into the reed. I have a lot of cane to remove from the tip. The tip is very thick. There's no way that this reed is going to vibrate. Ugh, takes everything in my body to make that sound. It vibrates, but there's no way that you'd be able to play it on an oboe. Of course, I'm gonna prove myself wrong here. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. You can really lose a lot of breath from there. That's not pretty. Okay, we have to remove a lot of cane. We can't play oboe like that. I want the cutting edge of my knife to be completely on the scratch that I made on the cane to indicate the tip. So I'm going to take my knife and line it up. Great. I wanna make sure that I'm not doing any kind of scooping motion. I'm pushing into the cane and I'm sliding up and out. Watch carefully. You can see that I'm scraping onto the plaque every single time. While you want to avoid the middle of the tip because it's gonna be one of the thicker parts on a finished reed, you also have to scrape it a little bit. I mean, it's not gonna end up at 40 hundredths of a millimeter like it is right now. It's gonna be somewhere around 23, 24 hundredths of a millimeter. what you do to one side and one quadrant, you're always going to do to the other side and the other quadrant. What's happening here? I like to look at the reed from many different vantage points while I'm scraping. I can keep track of the gradation of the blend a lot better this way. These are all things that I take for granted that are in the back of my head. They might not be things that a young reed maker knows. Let's keep on going here. I have a really low crow. I'm going to clip off about two millimeters. I wanna show you how much 
pain I've taken off already. Let's go to the dial indicator. Where the tip is, it's about 30 to 35. Oh, it's 20 here, which is nice. I want to end at around 18. Okay, let's put our plaque back in. Keep on scraping the tip. One of the parts of the reed that I feel is especially neglected is the side of the tip. Right about here, especially where the side of the tip meets the heart, that area is heavily neglected and it can cause a lot of flab in the sound. It's ready for another clip. I'm at a really low crow right now. Sitting pretty, just above 70 millimeters. I'm just gonna continue scraping my tip. Black is in. Wait, what am I doing right now? I'm pushing the plaque towards me so I can see the evenness of the scrape in the tip. see where we're sitting in terms of pitch and see how much I want to clip off. Now we're at a low C that's so exciting to me. There's a little bit more definition now. Looks like on the uncrossed side I want to go to the rails on the right hand quadrant and bring those down a little bit. It's really thick there. We're gonna do that right now. Tip opening is still fantastic. I'm so thrilled with it. It's kind of raunchy. I hear an F in the pro, and I definitely don't want that. Put a plaque in, sharp knife. Pay special attention to the sides of the tip closer to the heart. What you do to one side, you do to the other automatically. I'm throwing a B-flat right now. We have to clip another half a millimeter. We're sitting now at around 70 millimeters. More in the ballpark range of a finished reed. As I clip farther and farther along, I wanna make the amount of cane that I'm clipping incrementally less. So now I'm doing about a quarter millimeter, an eighth of a millimeter, and you know, on a finished reed, I'm taking off 1 64th of a millimeter. So let's hear this reed crow again. Fantastic. I love it. You know, too excited. I want to put in the oboe and I want to see what it sounds like. At this point, I kind of want to see where we're at in terms of the tip. So 20, 20, 20, 18. So we should bring everything down to 18. I just want to define the tip a little bit more. I want to show you what it looks like under backlight again. The spine kind of goes to the right on this side. I can fix that. Brought that crow right back down. Let's bring it up. 69 millimeters in length. It crows. A little bit of a low C, 15 to 18 cents flat. What it sounds like on the oboe after about 10 minutes of working on it is this. I want to make sure that this reed can play a high C natural above the staff, good pitch, and with a very loose embouchure, good support. And I want to make sure that I can slur from a high D to a high F sharp. The final crow of the read from today is really beautiful. I love it so much and this is exactly where I want it to stay until tomorrow when it dries out and I can work on it again. For this crow, I'm putting my lips right to the thread. 
I'm not trying to force a lot of air. I want to see where the bottom comes through. So it's a C, and one of the best things about this crow and this reed right now is that the bottom octave comes through almost instantly and it doesn't take any effort at all. This reed now can go in the case, wait for tomorrow, dry out, and I can put the last finishing touches on it. I'm going to work a little bit on the blend. I'm going to work a little bit on thinning out the edges towards the corners of the tip. I probably have another clip to do, and we'll see about balancing the reed in the back. I think it sounds pretty good. This might be the exact kind of read that you need right now for practicing or for performance. Thanks for watching me make a day one read. I hope this video taught you some things about knife technique and how fast we should be scraping the weight of the knife on the reed, how much we should be soaking the reed, how much we should be counting our scrapes, and all those fun things. I want you to like this video, subscribe down below, head on over to oberific.com, check out some of my reads, some of my reviews, and have a great day. Happy reads and happy reed making.